Hello EA group members, this is GC and today I have an update on my Dreamweaver site that I'm uh, rebuilding. So if you watched the tutorial video that I made uh, before this one and you got all your extensions up to date for Dreamweaver CC 2018 congratulations and I'm gonna get on with this and I'm gonna open Dreamweaver my first video in this um, playlist I made a folder if um, you are connecting your site on your desktop to Dreamweaver and not from a server but I did some tests and the templates, the free templates that we updated uh, with the extensions was not working properly so um, we're going to test that out again right here alright the first thing I need to do is resize this I'm trying to get a bigger screen a 4k monitor 43 inch to split the screens okay here we go so um, if you have a hosting company and you're paying or you're paying for a domain name and you're getting the free hosting uh, not like for WordPress or some CMS but just the basic um, hosting some people charge for it some people uh, don't charge for it but usually what you need to do is connect to that uh, server and what uh, the company is gonna do they're gonna send you the credentials uh, for your uh, connection now I'm going to check my connections here I'm gonna show you first how to connect to your server and uh, one second here okay so you need to select here remote server and you're gonna have to create a site so to do that uh, you come uh, to this uh, screen and and you uh, you create a new site by clicking new site I already created the site and it's already connected uh, this is not hard to create a site anybody can do it now what I want to show you is the settings for connecting to the server which is uh, once you create the site you're gonna have to um, create a connect to the server now this is the more complex part and uh, it's not very complicated just click the plus sign and it will take you to something like this I already connected to the server so I'm just gonna left click double click on the server and it you see what happens double just double click on this it's kind of like you don't know how to get in unless you already know this so you have to left click double click and and, and, and this is very simple uh, the server people or a company hosting company is going to give you the server name and then the connection is going to be FTP and then they're going to give you the FTP address the port 21 most of the time is port 21 for everybody I, I never seen a different port but it, it could be possible so it's probably port 21 if you don't have a port number here just enter 21 and then you'll have to enter your username and password and what you can do after that just click test and it'll gonna, it's going to test the connection and it says Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully okay 
So you're gonna save that. You wanna keep this uh, check mark on, and then this is the important part. Uh, you have to tell the Dreamweaver where is it gonna put the files, and it's at the root folder, which is in, which is the public um, HTML folder. Now. Um, Every hosting company might have this differently, so so they have to give you this. And once they give you this, um, just save it, and you're you're all set to go. I'm going to connect to the server. Now this is an old server. I don't. Uh, I don't have it anymore. I mean, I I, I changed. The, I have my own server, but the server still up and running and it's still connecting and everything is still running. They haven't uh, closed uh, or deleted this uh, folder or my password or the username for that matter. Anyways, uh, I don't use this anymore. Uh, the site is here, and if I pull the index HTML. any time now <laughs> and there it is now um, I'm gonna go over this really quick if you want to see this on the browser which you should to see if it's loading properly and everything um, now Dreamweaver is always making updates and they moved that feature into this uh, into the file tab real-time preview I'm gonna use Google Chrome and a lot of you might see this um, this graphic here pop up you try to access an external HTML page and it cannot be uh, previewed so if that happens I have been able to fix this and it's not really that complicated just exit Dreamweaver and then open it again hopefully this time it'll be faster I have 16 gigs of RAM no actually 32 gigs of RAM and a video card and these updates are just getting so huge that these programs are needing uh, they need more juice to run alright so now I open Dreamweaver again and everything load up automatically. Let's see if that works now. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It has to do also with the ports of your computer or the router sometimes you have to fix the ports I know my ports are working properly and it also might be because I'm not uh, the domain name is no longer active for this uh, so it's waiting on on an IP and it's not pulling it up so anyways if you have hosting if you're hosting active it should work with no problem so I'm going to move on and uh, hopefully you get that to uh, pop up in your browser